Rhys, well done. Uh, home is the hero. How does it feel? Feels great. Feels great. And to have the Irish support even out there in Liverpool and coming back home, of course, it's, it means the world to me. Has it begun to sink in, the uh, enormity of your achievement? Not quite. It's starting to, but not quite. Even when I hear my name next to the title world champion, it's still hard to fathom, really. And you're a very popular champion as well, because we know you had setbacks coming into these championships. Uh, but you dug deep to perform at the top level. Yeah, that, that's sport, that's life. You get knocked down, you get kicked while you're down. It felt like that to me. But then you rise to the challenge. You learn from your failures, you come back, and you, you perform to the best of your ability. And that's what I've done out there in Liverpool. And you raise spirits here in Ireland greatly. You're aware of uh, people tuning in to watch you over the weekend? Yeah, for sure. I was very aware of the Irish support, and it's, it's hard not to pay attention to it. It's uh, absolutely amazing. To see all those Irish flags around that arena in Liverpool was um, just an incredible experience. And what does this mean for you now, Reese, going forward? I, I think it's a, a start to a new chapter, it feels like. Uh, I'm now the world champion, and that's going to be a force to be reckoned with with other gymnasts. And it sets a, a really exciting precedent for the future. Uh, you know, that Olympic gold medal is the only one missing from my collection now, so my eyes are on that. And you will go forward to Paris with renewed expectations. Uh, how will you cope with that? I feel like I'll cope with it like any other competition. Uh, you know, I put a huge amount of pressure on myself in training, in competitions, so I'm used to that pressure, and I feel like I'm almost maxed out. And the amount of pressure I can put on my shoulders, so I just look forward to the next opportunity. And the next opportunity could be Paris, as we know. Uh, you've arrived back as a world champion. Are you saying in some 600 days you might be coming back in as Olympic champion? I hope so. Well, that's certainly my target, and um, I'll make sure that I do everything I can to try and achieve that target. And last but not least, what lies ahead in the days ahead? Head. Are you going to sit on the couch and eat fish and chips now that you're a world champion? The world is your oyster. Yes, yes, I'm going to do exactly that. I'm going to eat some pizza. Um, you know, it's been such a long year of competitions. I've been very focused and very disciplined throughout that whole process. And now I'm going to have a couple of weeks off training, which is which is well needed. So you're going to let yourself go for a week or two? I am, yes, a week or two. No more. Thank you.